Hi, everyone. Daniel Shum here from Deloitte. You know, leveraging the cloud to drive scale and efficiency is increasingly becoming a priority in many in the insurance industry. This has never been more evident when it comes to core systems transformation. With the emergence of the Gabor cloud, carriers can now take their core systems in the cloud and allow them to reap the benefits of increased scale and efficiency. Moreover, by leveraging a Gabor cloud validated solution, such as Deloitte's Insure Cloud, carriers can further reduce the risk of delivery. The Insure Cloud solution contains a pre-configured content and integrations designed to work with Gabor Cloud and designed to help carriers increase their speed to market. Today, I'm happy to introduce two individuals who can tell us more about their transformation journey and their journey to Gabor Cloud leveraging Deloitte's Insure Cloud solution. We have Andy Taylor, who is the CEO of Gore Mutual Insurance, and Jazz Densa, Chief Technology and Data Officer at Gore Mutual as well. Now, Gore Mutual Insurance is a Canadian home, auto, and business insurance company founded in 1839. Gore Mutual is Canada's oldest property and casualty insurer with over $500 million in premiums and over $1.1 billion in assets. Gore Mutual has two offices in Canada. The head office is located in Cambridge, Ontario, and a western office located in Vancouver. In 2014, Gore Mutual was voted number one insurance provider in Ontario by the Insurance Brokers Association of Ontario. And in 2020, Gore Mutual was recognized as a top Ontario workplace and one of the best workplaces in Canada by great places to work. In 2019, for the 11th straight year, Gore Mutual was named one of Waterloo's area's top employers by Canada's top 100 employers. Andy and Jazz, thank you for taking the time to talk to us today and the connections audience about your transformation journey. So let me kick things off by addressing the first question to you, Andy. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about Gore's transformation program and its strategic imperatives. Great, thanks, Daniel. And a pleasure uh, being with you this morning. Um, this year we launched our Next Horizon strategy that uh, represents the largest strategic transformation in the history of our organization. Um, notwithstanding the fact that we are 181 years old. And the vision for our, uh, our strategy over the next decade is to become a purpose-driven, digitally-led national insurance company. And a key component of that is uh, we recognized early in our, in our sort of uh, strategic discussions that um, our current technology and operating model was not scalable and couldn't support the ambitions uh, of the vision of our new strategy. And so that led us down a path to um, completely transform our operating model and all of our technology platforms over the next 24 to 36 months. Uh, and the core of that is the Guidewire Cloud solution and the Insure Cloud solution that it really will be the foundation uh, for everything we do in terms of going moving forward. Um, a couple of um, areas of why that's so important is in our, our strategy, we are looking to become a national insurer and a top 10 insurer. So to put that into perspective, uh, you know, our, our aspirations are to be four times the size we are today. We'll be writing uh, new products in new provinces. Uh, and we're also really excited about the innovative uh, capabilities of the insure cloud and uh, guide our cloud solution. That sounds really exciting and, and ambitious. Where do you where do you where are you finding yourself um, today in that journey? Where where are you at right now in terms of that journey, Andy? Yeah, we're uh, we're very much in the early phases of the building stage uh, of the transformation. So we spent a lot of time up front working with um, with the Deloitte and the Guidewire team to really prepare for and make sure that we were ready for the building phase. Um, so we're right now we're building a personal auto with the intention of going live in May of 2021. And we anticipate having all of our personal lines completed by the third quarter of next year. Just to put that into perspective, um, you know, we've been working on technology transformations uh, historically that were, uh, took us years to accomplish. And to be honest, we're, we're not quite, we're not very successful. Um, we're uh, looking at now by sort of late next year, having roughly 75% of our business on the new platform and successfully launched, which is extremely exciting for us. One of the things that I noticed is that um, you made this decision to, to go to the cloud. Right, which I think is different than what you what you've done in the past, and it would be a a major turning point in terms of um, of your transformation journey. What were the key considerations when you when you considered that in, in making that decision to leverage the cloud for your for your transformation? 
Yeah, yeah, great question. Um, I think the decision started with a, an introduction to the Guidewire uh, leadership team, um, and they came to our organization and shared their vision for where they were going to take Guidewire and Guidewire Cloud specifically. And what we recognized was there was a unique opportunity for us to um, sort of acknowledge that the future of Guidewire and, and many systems is cloud-based mm -hmm. and most of our competitors and our, our own technology was on-premises. And so we were excited about the opportunity really to uh, be one of the leading companies in Canada and in, in many ways, maybe leap out in front of our competitors uh, embracing, uh, you know, sort of the future of technology platforms. I think Jazz will probably talk about some of the other technical benefits. But from a strategic standpoint, um, it was very much based on, um, you know, leading with the most modern technology uh, in the industry. Well, speaking of Jazz, I mean, like Jazz, maybe you could talk a little bit about um, what were some of the technology um, considerations you made, the, the decision to proceed with, you know, Guy Rock Cloud versus um, self, self managed and what were really, what were the key factors that drove you that way? Hi, Daniel. Pleasure to be here today. So you and I have discussed it at length, and I'm sure many of our competitors and partners uh, are going through similar considerations as well. Uh, like Andy said, this is a massive transformation. This is a, a very significant uh, sort of transformation for Gore Mutual, uh, and we did not take this decision lightly. We went through all the analysis of features, capabilities, security, operational efficiencies, and the reason we chose uh, Guidewire Cloud is quite simple. We want to be able to own the innovation the direct digital uh, you know, platforms and experiences which actually differentiate us from others uh, and offload all the operational overheads of infrastructure management, patching upgrades off to uh, Guidewire, which Guidewire Cloud provides us very well. So we not only are able to deliver faster and deliver on strategic initiatives which are important for a business success, but also have more certainty around operational costs of infrastructures, upgrades, and making sure that we're able to leverage uh, those efficiencies that come out of Guidewire Cloud. And um, we hands down uh, are very confident that this is the right approach to take for us. Yeah, you make a really interesting point because Guidewire Cloud is more than just moving um, and, and moving um, your platform to cloud. It really is taking on a, a software and service managed service element to it that that really helps unburden some of the, um, some of the um, the, the uh, cost drivers that you had before in terms of managing the overhead. And now you have this ability to, to um, you know, really focus on the things that matter the most to, to your organization. Um, beyond, like, what are some of the other benefits you believe your organization would achieve by, by selecting Garbar Cloud? Um, just the access to, um, if, if you think about all my, all my research and uh, we partner very closely with Guidewire on this as well, as we sort of look deeper into the roadmap of Guidewire Cloud, it's quite evident that they're almost putting a fork in the road in which they're taking almost two parallel directions, but the Guidewire Cloud direction is more strategic for them. And hence, not only they will be investing a lot of technology dollars and uh, you know, intellectual horsepower into making Guidewire Cloud their strategic path for the future. But from even from a business features perspective, they will be launching many capabilities and functionalities on Guidewire Cloud sooner than on managed service. And in some cases, they will solely be available on Guidewire Cloud only. And we wanted to be the first ones in the industry to be able to leverage those capabilities and uh, make a bigger impact for business and our customers. Yeah, you make a good point. I, I believe that 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 Gore Mutual is the first Canadian client, um, um, like new client to, to go with Garber Clouds. So I think that's a really significant decision that um, that that you guys made as well. Is that is that correct? That's very true. I, I think some of our competitors are very actively pursuing Guidewire Cloud and uh, within the community, I'm aware of some of them like literally being on, on the, on the um, you know, decision points to be able to move there. Uh, and many will follow uh, based on my network and the conversations, but we are the first ones and uh, we are quite excited about that. Yeah, I think it's, it's very exciting. 
So, so maybe I, I can turn our attention a little bit now to, to the other decision that you made was to go with um, Deloitte's Insure Cloud solution that's validated for um, the Godbar Cloud. And maybe um, I'll, I'll start with Andy, but Jazz, maybe you can weigh in as well. Is like, what was your decision? Not only did you make a Godbar Cloud decision, but you decided to go with um, sort of pre-configured content and integration solution like Insure Cloud. Well, what was what was your thinking around that decision, Andy? Yeah. Yeah, great question, Daniel. Um, for me personally, this was a key strategic uh, turning point in our overall approach to technology implementation. Um, as a reference, historically, we, uh, you know, we built all of our technology ourselves, um, working with uh, third party um, vendors, but uh, this, the Insure Cloud solution, the Deloitte Insure Cloud solution was very attractive to us because of uh, a number of sort of fronts. One of them, the fact that um, it has a significant amount of pre-configuration within the software tool. And so what we recognized early in our program is there's a lot of work that's already been done within the tool uh, that we can leverage off of that was done for other, other clients and other competitors. Um, that's not a strategic differentiator. It's core system functionality, core product functions. Um, and so what that would allow us is to move much faster and at a lower cost and at a lower risk. And you heard me talk about the, um, the target of having uh, all of our personal lines done by next year and commercial lines the following year. We don't believe that would have been possible without the um, insure cloud solution. Um, I think the second piece is working with a partner with a great experience. So the Deloitte uh, Insure Cloud team has implemented that solution at other PNC carriers in Canada successfully, which gives us a high level of confidence that we will be successful in our journey. And then I think third and probably the most exciting to Jazz um, and our technology team here is we really wanna focus our energy on innovation and customer and broker experience. Um, and so the way the Insure Cloud solution is designed, um, there's an innovation layer that will allow us to do that while leveraging off of some of the, uh, the core functionality uh, to drive lower cost and speed to market. So, so for us, it's a, it's a big uh, change in direction, but a, a, an exciting one for us and lower cost, um, more certainty and certainly speed to market um, there is gonna be sort of the key drivers for us. And Jazz, same, same question to you. What 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 are your thoughts on on why um, why did you decide to leverage um, Deloitte's Insure Cloud solution? I totally agree with everything Andy said. I think having a team with us who's done it before, um, a great a bunch of professionals with many years of experience and similar implementations from Deloitte, uh, and also having a product that is pre-configured from a capability workflow and tooling perspective is definitely giving us a lot of confidence in achieving those aggressive dates. Uh, and, and I feel it is going to be the, uh, the differentiator between us being successful uh, in this versus doing it ourselves and building it from scratch. And when you kind of layer that on, uh, on top of that, uh, the um, you know, guide wire sure path, the standardization of processes and tools across our ecosystem, it's gonna be a highly complex e ecosystem, but a highly efficient ecosystem as well based on the decisions that we've made. We were able to operationalize after we've successfully delivered it. That is the efficiency that we are quite excited about. And I think, um, you know, there's a lot of benefits we are seeing already. How far we're down, like Andy mentioned, into building and being on track for delivering personal lines uh, in, in, the, in the first few quarters of next year uh, is only possible because of what we've been able to leverage out of the box, those pre-configured uh, capabilities. Uh, and Hence, we are absolutely excited and on track for that uh, delivery. You know, you, you make some very compelling points there. I think um, one of the other differentiators with Gaiver Cloud is around their sure path methodology and where they sort of lay out a tried and proven um, approach to, to implementing um, the insurance suite um, in the cloud. And then you add on top of that, the content that comes with um, the pre-configured content that comes with insure cloud that sort of, you know, considers all the requirements that are needed that are common to Canadian PNC insurers. I think that is a, you know, a winning formula for um, successful delivery and and risk mitigated delivery. So thank you for for those great points, um, Andy and and Jazz. Um, as we sort of round the bend on this on this interview, I, I do have another question that, that I wanted to ask the both of you. Um, you know, as, as you think about, um, you know, as, as you mentioned, Jazz, like others are considering um, the similar sort of journey. 
Um, what is what is the advice you would give um, to them when um, making a decision to to move to the cloud? Maybe I'll start with you, Jazz, and then to you to you, Andy. Once again, I think every organization is a different is at a different state uh, of their evolution and transformation. The needs and challenges and aspirations are different. This was absolutely the best decision for us, and hence we made it very seriously with a lot of consideration and assessment. Uh, what I would say is, if there is another organization that is seriously pursuing the path of guide work cloud, evaluate and plan and shift left. Uh, that planning. Uh, an assessment is going to pay off uh, big time. And also start with MVP approach. Um, try to understand what are those standard uh, processes, the new processes that Guidewire Cloud brings with it, uh, and not try to replicate what you currently have. So you shouldn't try to enforce and migrate your current legacy state onto Guidewire Cloud, but rather learn the new processes and efficiencies that Guidewire Cloud brings and try to adapt to it to get the best advantage of Guidewire Cloud capabilities. And also then start small, start with MVPs, launch it, stabilize it, learn from it. And then it will give you enough runway to understand and assess what are the additional capabilities which might be the differentiators for the future you can build with time. But I would say good planning, understanding and aligning with the capabilities and the operating model of Guidewire Cloud, launching an MVP and then scaling it is probably the best thing to do. Yeah, great. I uh, agree with everything uh, Jazz mentioned. I, I think from, from our viewpoint too, one of the learnings we've had is, um, I, I mentioned it earlier, but really working with partners who have been there before. I think, I think from a risk mitigation standpoint, um, you know, I, could, I couldn't uh, encourage that more uh, versus trying to take this on um, yourself. But the other uh, learning that's been really helpful is um, really take the time up front in that, in that planning phase to understand your strategy and where you're going and also your target operating model. And then, and then augment that with the technology because the technology is extremely powerful, but many uh, organizations will effectively replicate their current business model when they do a technology transformation. And, you know, this is a unique opportunity, particularly for us to transform our entire business from a strategic standpoint, and then really enable it with powerful technology. I'm so impressed with, with the, the ambition and the, um, and the thinking around um, your decisions. So, so, Andy Jazz, thanks for, thanks for taking the time um, to, to share with us the, your journey. Um, that you're undertaking and, and best of luck in your transformation. Um, we definitely look forward to hearing from you again. Um, you know, when you, when you get to the end of the end of the road and you, you, you've, 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 you've transformed, we'll be excited to see um, um, how everything turns out. Fantastic. And uh, hopefully we can do that in person and uh, we'll be back to some sort of sense of normal, but yes. we look forward to sharing the That's success. We, as Jazz said, we have a, a great level of momentum and confidence and excitement right now. So we can't wait yeah. to share the future uh, with everyone. Yeah.